Today, forest machines are truly high-tech vehicles that often work under the toughest conditions in our forests. In this two-part series, we accompany the Hessen forestry company Wolfgang Lauer's team during logging in challenging terrain and show how the forwarder was modified for its universal tasks. In the first part, we documented forestry company Wolfgang Lauer's timber harvest in difficult terrain. We also presented various logging techniques at a demonstration by Haas Maschinenbau in Zala. We now want to take a closer look at the Algau forestry equipment specialists. At the Haas Maschinenbau company headquarters, Forestry machines have been rebuilt to customer specifications since the late 1980s. The business concept, devised by Franz Alfred Haas, the founder of the company, really took off in 1998, when they began to convert timberjack machines. Customized adaptations of skidders and forwarders were subsequently added. Today, Haas Maschinenbau converts forestry machines for customers in Germany, Europe and overseas. They are also a John Deere forestry equipment dealer. They have undertaken more than 200 different modifications to forwarders for customers. Everything from drawing board to planning and implementation along with software programming is carried out in-house. Depending on the scope, a conversion of this nature can take between two weeks and three months. This brand new 1210G has been rebuilt for the Wolfgang Lauer forestry team and subsequently presented in use in this film. We are back in Hessen with the Wolfgang Lauer forestry company team. Johannes is working with the brand new 1210G on sloping terrain. This order involves thinning the relatively weak oak stand while at the same time avoiding damage to both the logging trail and the forest path. The forwarder's wide tyres, together with the eight-wheel drive and the mounted bogey wheels, provide good traction in themselves, but there are limits even to these. At the Lauer Forestry Company, therefore, use was made of the Haas Uniwinch concept. Wolfgang Lauer started out in the professional timber harvesting business with this Timberjack 1270B, built in 1997. After 15 years of service, however, the 1270B was replaced by more up-to-date technology. In this version, it is still possible to use the forestry machine for other purposes. For this purpose, the old Timberjack was converted into a carrier vehicle and equipped with a traction aid cable winch. The machine, weighing around nine tons, now ensures up on the forest path that Johannes can work with his forwarder lane by lane with maximum care, totally in accordance with the customer's specifications. The major advantage is that Johannes can operate the timberjack driving functions by radio remote control, thereby repositioning the uniwinch without having to get off. The inclination of the mounted winch can also be adjusted, allowing the rope guide to be adapted to the terrain topography. The 400 meters of steel cable are sufficient for the majority of jobs. Wolfgang Lauer also uses the uniwinch in combination with the other forestry machines in the fleet, depending on the job and requirements. And now we come to the 1210G, the latest machine in the fleet. The conversion was carried out at Haas over the winter, marking the fifth commissioned by Wolfgang Lau. In addition to the compact winch technology and the hydraulic lifting tail, a number of other modifications were implemented. A crane with a reach of 10 meters and IBC smart crane control was set up. The control valve has been fitted with a tilting device. This allows it to be tilted to suit the terrain 
which simplifies the work and ensures a consistent tilting force on the slope. In order to be flexible when loading different cut-off lengths from 2 to 6 meters, the 1210G has been equipped with a sliding front grille and swiveling stanchions. The fourth stanchion can be turned and clamped hydraulically in order to be able to move long timber, which we can also show on this job. North American timber harvesting technology, which focuses mainly on long timber, is very different from the technology here in Europe. Therefore, the John Deere harvesters and forwarders as we know them all come from the forestry equipment manufacturer, formerly Timberjack, in eastern Finland. Around eight machines leave the assembly line there every day. On three quarters of forested land in Germany, that is the area in which forestry is carried out, grow spruce, pine and beech. No other EU country has greater reserves of timber. For forestry businesses, the main task in recent years has been to salvage coniferous timber, which, as windfall timber, has mainly fallen victim to drought and storms. This is also reflected in the order book at Wolfgang Lauer's forestry company. Only around 20% of the orders are currently for hardwood stands, such as in this job. Wolfgang Lauer himself is using the 1510G in the forest. There is an unusually dense stand of beech trees which has to be moved. The sturdiest trunk measures over 12 meters. This is not an issue for this powerful combination forwarder, which is used here without a stanchion basket. Without the quick conversion to the clamp bunk, many logs would have to be taken from the forest using a winch, which would be much more costly. In Germany, something over 100 harvesters and the same number again of forwarders are sold every year across all manufacturers. The 1510G was built in 2021 and with all the modifications costs over half a million euros. Lauer reckons on a useful life of about 10 years. Generally speaking, each employee has their own machine. There are no night shifts and, as a rule, they work only from Monday to Friday. High-tech forestry machines have simplified forestry work in many places and also made it safer and more sustainable. Customized conversions also help to adapt the working machines to the respective conditions. With these impressions of modern forestry, our two-part series comes to an end. We would like to thank Haas Maschinenbau and the Wolfgang Lauer Forestry Company for their support during this film project and the insights into operations which they allowed us. More forest tales will follow soon on our YouTube channel.